Ladies, don't you hate it when you're pregnant, minding your own business, you're balancing on top of a pole 20 feet in the air, and someone decides to spin kick you right in the lips? Well, I've got the product for you. I call it her gaping box. And don't take that out of context. Okay, mind out of the gutter. It's not dirty. It is a man-sized box that can be deployed at a moment's notice to protect mommy's massive muff from even the strongest of kicks. Okay, disclaimer. Unlike her unborn child, this product is still in development. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to Brainwash, where I thought I had thoroughly lathered and rinsed my wrinkles, but according to you guys, with the number of dick and titty jokes I'm always making, I must still have a dirty mind. So I'm gonna run it back again today and hopefully clean things up a bit around here. I'm not gonna pretend to understand Brainwash's mysterious methods, okay? When they tell me to x-ray search her, I'm just gonna x-ray search her and assume that that's gonna clean up my mind somehow. Lady, I really hope you accessorized with a lead diaper tonight because otherwise... Oh, I'm good. And she's got, what, a computer chip? She's some kind of like, Ballroom Bang Box? Which, by the way, S-tier name for a band. You're welcome, whoever gets that. Oh, uh, which way is the sun right now? I really shouldn't just leave this pointed at her. I don't want to scorch her cooter or something. Uh, oh, she's a secret agent. I see. So probably not 007, but maybe 0069? Why do I get the feeling Santa's candy cane is probably shaped a lot more like an old potato? Can I go back to searching her by any chance? Like, I, I don't suppose I missed something on her backside. I, I really don't want to find his dagger. Okay. Do we know anything about Santa's parents by any chance? Did they enjoy the taste of lead paint? <laughs> what else have you got, Santa? Oh, he's packing heat. What? Seriously? <laughs> All right. Oh, Santa, you have been very naughty this year. Honestly, I'm not even sure if this is Santa. It might just be like a goblin working at the mall. I really am trying here, guys. Like, I want to put forth the effort to clean up my mind, but when a unicorn presents itself to me and its butthole inhales, I need to commentate on that kind of thing. What do you want from me, brainwash? Am I supposed to help it breathe? Oh, no, hold on. I might be able to line this up. There we go. And we do get a unicorn, and its butt was inhaling. Butthole breathing confirmed. I love animals as much as the next person, okay? I can appreciate that morally, I should save the cat. But, that being said, if you're gonna jump 15 feet headfirst into fire, then maybe you deserve to be hot dog meat? You know, natural selection brought us this far. Who am I to say that it's wrong? If anything, why don't we just give it a 50-50? I'll go ahead and draw a giant hot dog bun, and if you're gonna die, then at least you're gonna die the way you were meant to. I swear that's a hot dog bun. You're not jumping into a giant flaming ass. Ooh. I think we're good. All right. That, uh, that cat does not look okay. <laughs> Oh, come on, brainwash. You gotta be kidding me right now. This is not a brain cleaning regimen. This is boner bait. You can't be serious right now. You're killing me, or is she? What have you got there, missus? I'm just gonna assume that this is a really swanky bar and that's how they serve Shirley Temples. And I'm gonna avoid sensitive areas hoping to find your shake weight. Okay. Yep, that's definitely sketchy. Okay, no, we're good. Everything is fine, and she's also a secret agent. You secret agents give it up real easy. I kind of figured you would manage to weasel your way out of getting searched like that. Make it a bad idea. I'm not really sure what that means. I'm kind of curious why this light bulb has a dent in its head. Was it dropped when it was born? Like, I'm assuming if I turn this upside down, it looks like a dong. Is it 
Is it supposed to look like a dong? Is that the joke? Because you, that's the opposite of what you're trying to accomplish here, Brainwash. You're making it worse. It, it even got bigger balls. <laughs> I just noticed. Okay, fine. You know what? Whatever. Cool. If you're just going to slow pitch dick jokes at me, then I'm just going to claim false advertising. If you have a limp lightsaber and you take a little blue pill, in this case it's half red, but that's probably a trademarking thing, then you get a stiffy. So funny. Leave the jokes to me. So what's this European goober's deal? Is it just that he's low energy? He's got a meter there, it's reading low, and he's currently clenching a wire between his cheeks. Do I just need to plug him in? Oh, don't be like that. You're not nearly fast enough. Yeah, look at you, from zero to hero, and all it took was high voltage to a sphincter. What to dress? I have no idea what that means or what it's asking. I'd be a lot more curious what's with the batch of kinky cookies in front of me. <laughs> Can I help you guys? Okay. Sorry about taking away your gains there, bud. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay, so I would imagine that the leather chaps would go with you. Yeah, okay, we got the biker slash village people guy, and then we've got the sprinkle floozy. Uh-huh, uh-huh, and then we've got the party boy. <laughs> Gingerbread cookies do weird stuff when it isn't Christmas. Okay, it's the evolution of things. So we started with brooms, and then we started using vacuums, and moved on to bigger vacuums, and then Roomba riding cats, sure, okay. Is that it? That was, like, oddly wholesome and clean, you know, no pun intended. And just like that, our minds are right back to the gutter. Choose correct size. Are we talking apples, oranges, or melons? Oh, those clearly have to be, yeah, those are a pair of lower back destroying melons if I've ever seen them. I always knew deep down I was secretly a titty mathematician. There's a possibility this is supposed to be some kind of abstract art. Or it could be that reality is fragmenting and that it's actually a coffee bean taking a piss. <gasps> I'm fairly certain that that's the right answer. If I do something like that, then okay, great. Fresh coffee for all. I'll pass. It's time to play hero, save the unarmed. Okay, well, if I take your gun, then, oh, nope. I was gonna say that might not actually work because if the back guy shoots, it might travel through middle guy's head and still hurt the unarmed. So we're just gonna leave you there, not trying to piss anyone off. <laughs> if we can move them around, then why don't I just do something like that, right? Now you're, you're perfectly safe. Doesn't really make any sense, just kind of screaming into a criminal's ass, but sure. Choose right order. I don't know if this game was made before, during, or after the unmitigated disaster that was 2020. I mean, there are a bunch of different options here. I'm thinking maybe it was that you were skinny before 2020, you got fat during quarantine, but next year you're gonna be swole? No? I guess we could do it as if it was any other year? No, okay. In all reality, it was probably closer to this. <laughs> Man, I don't know. Are things just going downhill? Like, oh, things actually are just going downhill. I, I guess they're just gonna make the joke for me. <laughs> oh no, I really don't like making the salads. Like, not only because it's a potato cheese grape salad, ew. But because they're so happy up until I chop them all into little bits. I'm, I'm real sorry about this, guys. It's nothing personal, but, you know, the game tells me to do it. And what the game says I clearly need to do. Otherwise, my mind is going to stay dirty forever. I got to get clean. <laughs> Who wants some? Fix this tutorial. Oh, come on, brainwash. You're supposed to be cleaning my brain, not making me look like a man-child. 
I tied every tie that I own once, and then I just loosen it and pull it over my head and it stays tied. So I probably haven't tied a tie in like a decade. Uh, well, I would imagine you would be last and you would be first. We'll do the over and then the under and then the through. That looks about right to me. Am I missing? That that has to be right. Oh, do, where, where, are they, where are they supposed to go? Oh, there they go. Okay, I was gonna say that that has to be right. Oh, um, that's not a great way to hand someone their their tie. I know it's 2020, but things are looking up. Of course, the second I say things are looking up, we've got a guy who's gonna take a long walk off a short pier. Come on, dude, don't be like that. I'm, I'm just gonna take this off you real quick. There we go, okay. You got plenty of reasons to live. Like, cyberpunk. Ladies, don't you hate it when you're pregnant, minding your own business, you're balancing on top of a pole 20 feet in the air, and someone decides to spin kick you right in the lips? Well, I've got the product for you. I call it her gaping box. And don't take that out of context, okay? Mind out of the gutter, it's not dirty. It is a man-sized box that can be deployed at a moment's notice to protect mommy's massive muff from even the strongest of kicks. Okay, disclaimer, unlike her unborn child, this product is still in development. <laughs> It's a work in progress. I'm thinking we got room flexibility. We could maybe turn it into a bit of a speech bubble pattern. I'm not really convinced that the box is gonna work. Okay, this has to work though. I've got all my money tied up into this, please. We spent millions of dollars on R&D. You've gotta be kidding me. Okay, maybe we need to go with something that's a little bit bigger and sharper. Okay. Maybe we don't want to be defensive. Maybe we want to be offensive. Mommy is going full-blown arrows right into his taint. Nope, nope, he decides to carry the arrow. This is bad. This is really bad. I'm thinking if we do something like this, maybe make it as complex as possible and just kind of wrap it around you, then possibly. <laughs> It's flawless, coming in 2021, pre-order now. No, brainwash, I'm not ready to expand this enterprise quite yet. <laughs> Did you see that last presentation? It was a friggin' disaster. I need to save the good guy and cancel the bad guy which is pretty much what I just did, but this time we're on a mountaintop. I'm thinking maybe we can go up and then through your butt and then down and we can catch you. And then I'm gonna brace up against the mountain Hopefully Polly Bridge isn't gonna let me down here. Oh, okay. For some reason, impaling this guy through the stomach has not canceled him. Um, what if I just drop a giant arrow on your head? Like, so. Nope, he's wearing a hard hat. I thought it was just a regular old fedora, but apparently not. This is not good. Can I just like get rid of you somehow? Can you maybe, oh. Okay, we're, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. I'm thinking if we could just keep building up and pushing and pu push it, push it harder. <laughs> He's gotta go over the edge eventually. Go on, go on, get going, get going. Where'd you go? He's off the screen now. He's gotta fall over the edge eventually, right? <laughs> if I just keep drawing squiggles, they can't keep him up forever. Oh, this is a disaster. Do you have any idea how much this costs? <laughs> We're good, you're welcome. Something is wrong. I think you're wrong, Brainwash. This is perfectly normal. We just got two centaurs hanging out. Like, does Brainwash not realize centaurs are 50-50? You're just as likely to give birth to one with top half horse as you are one with top half human? It's, it's like mermaids, you know, you can end up with one that's top half salmon, bottom half woman. It's weird and smells extra fishy. I'm assuming that you want me to, yeah, okay, we can just, um, yeah, that's not right. <laughs> I mean, this guy's weird enough as it is, but yeah, that's that's still real wrong. Oh boy. Oops. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I've never dropped my phone in the ocean. I'm pretty sure if I did, I wouldn't have enough time to yell oops. I would be nose deep in the sand picking that thing up. <laughs> is there something I could do to help you here? really doesn't seem like it. 
Oh, I just gotta drain the ocean for you real quick. Not a big deal. You're still gonna wanna put that in rice, though. Well, it looks like we're gonna pivot to some quick toilet math. I I'm thinking toilets equals five minutes, but toilet plus phone equals an hour. Okay, we should really be introducing more variables here. Like toilet plus phone plus Taco Bell equals brownie emoji? What country? Are they asking me what country allows recreational LSD use? What kind of mad trip am I looking at right now? <laughs> this is horrifying. Would it be India, Italy, or Mexico? Oh yeah, this is very Day of the Dead-ish. They got the face paint, they got sombreros. Yeah, maybe, hopefully. Please tell me I'm not dumb. I'm pretty sure that's what these three flags are. Okay. I think I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. But you know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Brainwash, guys. I don't feel like my brain has been washed in the slightest. If anything, I feel like this has made stuff worse because this episode went way further than the other two. There were a lot of really great levels and I'm hoping that the game is just gonna progressively get better and better. Like, I don't know what this tutorial is, but I wanna learn more. So if you guys wanna see more, as always, be sure to leave a like in the video, let me know, and I'll return to figure out how to fish and poop at the same time again soon. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.